Hi, I'm Bree Joseph. Hi, I'm Casey, and we are the owners and operators of KBZFX. And today we're going to show you how to transform yourself into Fariona V of the EverQuest franchise. First we're going to pull her hair back because I'm going to go in and attach her Fariona elf ears. Now you can get these ears at any of your local Halloween costume stores and what do you know, KBZ Effects also carries them online. The adhesive I'm going to attach these with is a adhesive by the name of Prozade. They also carry spirit gum in which you can get at your basic Halloween store. For something like this though, I'd recommend that you go online and look for your Prozade. Now that I know where they're going to sit on her ear, I'm going to take a Q-tip. I'm just going to dabble a little of the Prozade onto her actual ear. The best time to start applying your prosthetic is when this milky substance starts to turn a clear color. Prozade will not stick when it's still milky. So if you want to use a blow dryer to speed up that process, you can do that as well. If you notice here, the white is gone and it's more of the clear sticky. Now that I have it placed on there, I'm going to take my Q-tip once again, and I'm going to go back and reinforce some of these edges. And we want to make sure these ears are not going anywhere. All right, we've got one ear down. Now when I'm done with this, we want to make sure we go back and powder this. I happen to be using a Krylon anti-shine powder. You can use your basic baking powder. I'm just going to take a brush. You can use a puff pad as well, and I'm just going to go and powder lightly around where it's sticky. Now I'm going to go ahead and prep these ears for the application of the color. Before I do that, I'm going to take a sponge which is what I'm going to apply Prozade back onto these ears so that the makeup sticks. You can just take any type of sponge. If there's a brush that you don't care for, but just remember, once you put the Prozade on it, you're ruining it forever. I'm going to take my Prozade, and I'm just going to go and stipple, or pat, onto her ear. Okay, so her ears are prepped. Today I'm just going to use basic cream foundations. So I'm going to try the best one that matches her. And they're already fairly toned, so I'm just kind of going into the crevices and kind of just highlighting them more. Don't go overboard. And here's another trick. Instead of trying to get her ear exactly to this tone that I'm matching, I'll take my color and go on her natural ear a little as well. Come in here and take maybe the darker tones in these nooks, we'll call them. So I'm actually gonna go in here and powder once again. And just get all the rest of the shine off. And there we have simple elf ears. I'm gonna prep her skin with skin primer. I'm gonna use a flat brush such as this to apply. Just nice soft strokes around the eye area. We're going to let that set for one second and what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start doing her eye makeup. I'm going to be using my MAC palette today but any basic palette of a nice neutral shadow will do. I'm using a fluffy brush. You can use a fluffy brush or you can use a flat brush. There's that base color. After that I'm going to go in with a soft brow and contour her eye a little bit. You want to go nice and light handed. I'm going to go ahead and use a deeper brown now, such as this one, in order to get a little bit more of that contour. I'm going to have my model close her eyes, and I'm just doing little tiny circles and blocks near that crease. I like to blend with my darkest uh, browns before I do the black. Remember, we're going from lightest to darkest. I'm going to go ahead now and do a little black. Next step we're going to do is we're going to do her eyeliner. You can use any liner that you prefer. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. You want to kind of make that line not too thick, not too thin to create this look. And we're going to wing it up. Okay, now that we're done with that part, I'm going to go ahead and rim underneath her eyes. And you're going to be very, very gentle underneath that eye. Furiona tends to be a little bit on the paler side and contoured when it comes to her cheeks. So I'm going to go one level lighter than what our natural model is. And I'm going to go with this color right here. Now I'm just going in nice smooth strokes with this because I want it to look nice and natural and blend right into her skin. Now her skin is a beautiful peachy tan. I'm going to go ahead and, and use the Krylon Anti-Shine Powder as well. We don't need to add any more color, so we just want a nice soft finish. Next, let's have some fun. Let's put these lashes on her. Before you apply any of the glue, you kind of want to measure this to the actual eye. That needs to be cut down three-fourths. Do not throw this away, because I will show you a pretty cool trick. Now I'm going to use a duo glue. So you're going to take your Q-tip. Now just like the Praze, this also has a dry time. Kind of want to shake it back and forth a few times. Now don't be alarmed when you see that there's that white glue on the lid when you place the lash and bend them back and forth that they're not exactly coming into shape. 
take that axis that you cut off for your eye shape and you add a little bit more glue to it. You put it right at the end of those lashes so they become even fuller and bigger. I'm gonna start with creams and see how that works for you. I'm gonna go about three shades darker than what she is and start right here from her cheekbone, accentuating those gorgeous cheekbones. I'm gonna go ahead and go around her forehead as well to kind of bring it all together. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and use my translucent powder and powder it. Now it's time for a little bit of blush. Furiona tends to be a little bit more orangey tangerine right on that cheekbone, right next to that nose, and really accentuate that look. I'm gonna use a pencil. I'm gonna brush her eyebrows out first. Use a light hand to kind of fill them in and drag them down a little bit for more definition. We go back in with that black. And while she's looking down, just increase that line so we're going right into the crease. I don't like the way that looks, but I would like to go in with a flat brush now and add a little shimmer. And go back in with my warm brown and do a little bit more definition. Okay, I'm gonna finish this look with a little bit mascara underneath her eyes now. The last thing we're gonna do is accentuate her lips. So what we're gonna start off by doing is outlining her lips with a nice, basic, nude mauve lip liner. The color that I chose is also a mauve color. It's gonna complement that lip liner to perfection. So we're gonna go ahead and emulate this ponytail that Fariona has, which sits on top of her hair and has two sideburns that kind of come down. First I'm going to start by taking these two side pieces that come down underneath the crown and along the sides of her ears and I'm going to put them down. And I'd say right at her eye line because we don't want to hide those ears. Those ears are part of the costume and they actually stick out. And make sure to tie your hair ends because you don't want that getting caught back up into the ponytail. And I'm going to literally start that ponytail at the top of her head. So I've taken three hair ties and layered them, building them up like a totem pole. That way the hair stands high. Fariona has great jewels that keep her hair up and dangled on the side of her sideburns. And let's say the local party shop Halloween costume store that you went to did not carry that. We're going to make them in a foil. So you want to take your foil and flatten it out this way. Not only is this going to be a nice accessory to her ponytail, but it's also going to help keep that hair in place as well. And we're literally going to go back around. I'm going to do the same exact thing to the ends of her hair, creating the same effect. Last but not least, we're going to place the headpiece on her. I happen to have this necklace around, and it's pretty similar to what she's wearing, so we're going to go ahead and use it. Now, to make sure that this doesn't leave her head throughout the night, we want to secure that in. So I'm going to take a bobby pin and go right into the hooks of the necklace, and just bobby pin those right in her hair. And there you have it, Fariona.